Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Three tips here. This is uh, about 5.30 on the morning of day two of the silver cell operation. You can see the amperage is all over the place. And I think that's due to the fact that we've got some irregular and large, chunky pieces of impure silver that we're sending in or adding to the anode basket those things don't digest well those bigger pieces they don't digest well here's some smaller ones that's the size that I really need to be feeding into the anode basket here you know, what happens is the uh, pieces get stuck on the inside of that Dacron bag and they get held up and suspended in the air and not making good contact with the electrolyte. So what I have to do is keep a close eye on this thing. What we're going to do is pull the anode bar I'm just going to use a metal spoon to kind of knock these crystals down, or the uh, impure silver down into the bag a little better, to the anode filter. And what we'll do is add some of these, I guess, some of these smaller pieces. And that should fall down through. And fill in the gaps a little better so that we maintain a little bit better contact with the electrolyte in there and I did intentionally put some larger pieces in to try to digest them and get rid of them so now we should have a little bit better contact up here as you can see, the, jump, the amps have jumped way up. Now let's take a look down inside the silver cell. This is about just under 48 hours worth of crystal growth. You can see the crystals are starting to form up nicely in there. This is brand new electrolyte first run on this electrolyte if you remember when I first put this in there it was clear and colorless like water and it's turning blue because there is some copper in this impure shot that I'm feeding in and that copper dissolves passes through the uh, filter there, the Dacron filter, as do the silver ions that dissolve from the electric current flow. The copper and the silver travel through that Dacron bag. And if you look down here, you'll see that it's suspended in the electrolyte. See that? And the copper and the silver ions travel through the silver nitrate electrolyte. The copper stays in solution and builds up in the electrolyte, turning it blue. But the silver ions travel to the cathode, which is this stainless steel bowl that I use as the silver cell and plates out as high purity elemental silver metal. As the cell operates, the electrolyte in here, silver nitrate electrolyte in here, gets depleted because some of the silver ions in the electrolyte plate out onto the cathode and the silver nitrate concentration lowers, gets low, as the copper builds up in here, plus the electrolyte 
will evaporate and the physical level of the electrolyte will begin to decrease. So what I do is I have some silver nitrate electrolyte that I keep handy. And every now and then, every couple days or so, we'll add a little bit of the silver nitrate in here to replenish the silver level in the electrolyte, the actual amount of silver nitrate in there, and to raise the actual physical level of the electrolyte in the silver cell. This is just under 48 hours in, and we've got our silver cell in good condition now. That's the pure silver that's plating out in there on the inside of that cathode. Two days worth of growth with fresh electrolyte and a uh, fresh anode filter. The cell works very efficiently and the crystal growth is rapid. If we keep that voltage at 3.5 volts then the crystals will grow fat and chunky if we were to raise the voltage you know, up around 6 volts or so then the crystals would grow even faster you could watch them grow you could actually see them getting bigger but then we'd increase the chance of depositing other metals in here that may be present or the crystal growth would be long and needle-like and eventually rather quickly it would reach up come in contact with the anode filter basket burn a hole through it and allow the slimes in our anode filter to go down into the cell and contaminate the pure silver crystal all right it's 6 a.m getting on with the battle. The sale starts at 8.30. There's my loop. And we're at a sale so that we can be first in line to get the metal. Alright. Here we are. Our first sale of the day. Let's see if we can find some metal. Got any words of wisdom, Mrs. Sweet Tips? No. <laughs> six o'clock in the morning for a sale it starts at 8 30 but this is only way the only way to get anything that's valuable because if you get here at 8 30 all the good stuff will be gone treat that buggy's in distress mm -hmm. he got turned over on his back and he sure don't did. know how to get back over. Yeah, he's right side up, Tracy. He's not doing well. No, because he's on his back. He, no, he's right side up. Huh? He's right side up. He is. Oh, no, he isn't. You're right. He's on his back. He's on his back. Let me see if I can help him. What you going to do? Put a piece of paper down here so that I'll bring him over. He thought he was in danger. Come on, grab him. There he goes. There, now get back. Get on. He, he keeps falling over. Tracy's. He's not doing well. In distress. And it's not me in distress. Put that piece of paper on him. There he goes. Oh, all right, he got away. Look at him. He got away. What he don't know is he could be going right in the direction of people walking and stomping with him. No, he's making it for the... He don't know a herd of people. He's headed for the uh, dirt now, so he'll be all right. 